Venn diagram. A Venn diagram is an illustration of sets and set operations. A circle represents a set. This is set A and this is set B. Sets A and B are disjoint sets. Sets A and B are said to be disjoint if they have no element in common. Sets A and B are said to be overlapping if they contain at least one element in common. A rectangle represents a universal set. Let's study Venn diagrams that have two overlapping circles. Shading Venn diagram regions. Let A and B be two sets shown in the Venn diagram above. For each of the following sets, draw a Venn diagram and shade the area representing the given set. Number 1. Shade the area or region that belongs to set A. The shaded area represents set A. Number 2. The complement of A. Shade the area excluding A. The shaded area represents the complement of A. Again, this represents set A and this represents the complement of A. Number 3. The shaded area represents set B. Number 4. The shaded area represents the complement of set B. Number 5. A union B. Shade A as well as B. The shaded area represents a union B. Number 6. The complement of the quantity A union B. Shade the area excluding A union B. Number 5 represents A union B and number 6 represents its complement. Number 7. A intersection B. Shade the area where A and B overlap. Number 8. The complement of the quantity A intersection B. Shade the area excluding A intersection B. Number 9. A minus B. Shade circle A excluding circle B. A minus B. Number 10. B minus A. Shade circle B excluding circle A. B minus A. Writing the elements. Place the elements of these sets in the given Venn diagram. First, identify the elements common to set M and set L. The elements common to M and L are letter M and letter Y. Place these elements in the area where M and L overlap. Next, place the other elements of set M in circle M. Do the same with set L. Place the other elements of set L in circle L. Note that there are elements in the universal set U that are not found in sets M and L. Let's check. The elements are X and D. Place X and D outside the circles but inside the rectangle. 
writing the number of elements. If the cardinality of P union Q is 50, the cardinality of P intersection Q is 5, and the cardinality of P is 20, use the Venn diagram to show the relationship between the two sets. Find the cardinality of Q. Let's start with the intersection of P and Q. Place 5 in the area where P and Q overlap. Since we already have 5 in circle P, and the number of elements of set P is 20, 20 minus 5 is 15. Place 15 in circle P. Note that circle P has 20 number of elements. 15 plus 5 is 20. Now we can already find the remaining number of elements in set Q. The cardinality of P union Q is 50 minus the cardinality of P, which is 20, is equal to 30. Again, 50 minus 20 is 30. So, what's the cardinality of set Q? The cardinality of set Q is 35. Answer the following. To stop, just click pause. Thanks for watching.